Hey guys, in this video, we'll be continuing our understanding of bioinformatics by looking into something that is constituent in both biology and music, patterns. Patterns at its base form is just repetition. We can see patterns everywhere in nature, from the stripes on our cat to the spots on our dog, and even to the repetition of base pairs within our DNA. Patterns can even occur in a more artistic level. If we look at music, for example, it's the patterns of a beat or the repetition of a lyric that may make a song get stuck in our head. Oftentimes, people may put down a song for being too repetitive, but let's say you want to actually see how repetitive a song can be. Well, with some programming, we can. On the screen now is a visual representation of my favorite song, Fast Car by Tracy Chapman. The image is a type of matrix called a self-similarity matrix, which is a graphical representation of similar sequences in a data series. Similarity, as designed for this matrix, is the words that appear in our song. Each row and column of the matrix corresponds to a word in the song. The diagonal running from top left to bottom right is the main diagonal, which corresponds to cases where x equals y, where one word equals another word within our song, and it's always filled in. The portions on either side of this main diagonal are always symmetric. When a sequence of words is repeated, it creates a diagonal line off the main diagonal. For this song, the mini diagonals created off the main diagonal comes from the chorus of the song, beginning with the phrase, see, I remember we were driving. One of the repeated sections appears as a sort of stripy square. As you can see at the ends of these diagonals. This happens when the repeated section is itself repetitive, i.e. it consists of a phrase repeatedly chanted. As we can see, the stripy square in the song is the phrase, be someone. Such pattern recognition can be seen in multiple songs, from Lady Gaga's Bad Romance to Sia's Cheap Thrills. But what can these singers play in patterns tell us about bioinformatics? Well, this visual representation of patterns within Chapman's song not only tells us that, yes, pop songs are repetitive, but also that our DNA is too. The processes used to develop this visual representation of lyrical patterns is actually based off programs that do the same thing for DNA, and it's an important part of bioinformatics. One way to visualize the similarity between two proteins or DNA sequences is to use the similarity matrix known as a dot plot. These were introduced by Gibbs and McIntyre in 1970 and are two-dimensional matrices that have the sequences being compared along the vertical and horizontal axes, similar to the program that we used before. Here is an example of a DNA dot plot of a human zinc finger transcription factor, showing regional self-similarity. The main diagonal represents the sequence's alignment with itself. Lines off the main diagonal represent similar or repetitive patterns within the sequence. The similarity between two sequences can also be gleaned from the number and length of matching segments shown in the matrix. Identical proteins will obviously have a diagonal line in the center of the matrix, yet insertions and deletions between sequences can give rise to disruptions in this diagonal. The importance of such dot plots is to give a visual representation of detecting repetitions in the amino acid sequences of various proteins, along with regions of possible base pairing in the nucleotide sequence of a nucleic acid. Therefore, the same processes that let us prove the repetitiveness of songs allows us to see the repetitions within our own body's molecules. I hope this video helps you to learn more about dot plots and its applications for patterns within both biology and music.